okay so I will place one dot or vertex here another one here one here and one here and by pressing backspace you remove your last dot or last vertex one here one in here here mm, here 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 and okay I will create a small panel like this and I will create another one in the opposite side like this so now the shapes are all okay I need another part that looks like this one and this one here and you will understand why we are creating panels like that so I will use snap tools click here here there yes create another one sorry here that and this one we will duplicate it the same shape only snapping again to create same panel exactly because I don't need to rotate it later to leave the old one okay so here is my panels this is the back panel I will move the vertices here a little bit up and this is the two panels for the shoulder this panel is the front panel this two panels here one here and one here are for the sides of my t-shirt okay I select now one of this uh, panels let's say this one and I will call this Sarah t-shirt I will attach the rest to it this one this one this one this one and this one just try to imagine with me right now also I need to move this one down like this okay so all of this and all of this except this two should be broken so I break those because I need to create panels between seams uh, so segments should be separated this with this will be connected together this with this will be connected together this with this and this with that or sorry uh, the opposite if this one connected to here this one should be connected to here so you have to imagine where you connect both of them connect this to with this to I will show you now I'll move this a little bit like that and I will come here and select convert my object garment so when I select garment maker I got this and now I will make it uh, let's see on okay I will add uh, uh, higher density to my panels so it will be more realistic now I need to go to my perspective viewport because I need to manually move my panels I select panels I move uh, before that let me just uh, create seams as I told you you have to imagine so this panel so we move this panel to the front of my character I will show you something and this panel to the back of the character it should be rotated 90 degrees uh, sorry 180 degrees now I bet you understand we rotate these to 90 degrees like that and we move them to here and this we rotate them 
let's rotate one by one this one to 90 degrees and this one to the other side minus 90 degrees and we move both of them to here between okay so now I have to go to my front viewport move one by one first this panel should be exactly over this one select both of them and move them to so now all the panels are ready we need to seam together at seams so when we select segments like that and we press create seam so this segment with this segment and create seam we go we do the same for the rest let's press a four segment with this one create seam this segment with this one create seam this one and this one create seam the same here create the last seams now we are ready to add our cloth object we just come here and press cloth there we go we go to down here and we click don't show sea wing springs we come to object properties we select any kind of cloth here cotton uh, cashmere burlap anything I will select cotton here and of course I need to add my other object which is uh, the um, the character that uh, should collide with my uh, with my uh, cloth so I will add object I will select Sarah body mesh and uh, press add and I will uh, just select here collagen object and press OK so once I press simulate locale now I will see very nice clothes over the body of my character there we go I need to add space between um, one minute reset state and come to object properties again I will select my body mesh and add offset like to higher value so here is our clothes and all the uh, parameters here are self-explanatory so once you select any clothes burlap cotton cashmere whatever you will see the u-bend the v-bend values uh, that depends stretching values and um, you compress v compress values once you sh you change you change any of that values you will see the effect of that value directly over your cloth object you have presets here and you can change play with those values and see what kind of cloth object you can create and you can save it as well of course here we have collagen object the depth of the collagen object and the offset of your cloth object over the collagen object and uh, you can also control the friction the static friction and dynamic friction you can make it uh, very soft over the body or you can make it like uh, it uh, stick uh, on wet body or something like that so we click OK now we simulate locale sorry for that noise there we go now our clothes is covering our character nicely we'll press F4 to see the effect and now I will just press this once again 